In this lecture, we will talk about IP routing basics. We will divide the whole content into four parts. First, we will introduce IP routing overview. We will introduce the basic concepts of routing. So first of all, we have learned what is IP address in last lecture. Actually, IP address is uniquely identified a node on a network. Actually, each IP address belongs to a unique subnet, right? And each subnet may belong to different area of a network. So if one computer in one subnet want to find another computer in another subnet, then how to do the routing, how to communicate with the, the other network by using this network. Actually, now we need to use the routers and we need to do routing to find another network. So that is inter-subnet communication. So this is a subnet, this is a subnet, how to do the inter-subnet communication. This is the key function in the internet. If we cannot do the inter-subnet communication, then the computers cannot find each other, which is not in the same subnet. Okay, so first let's introduce what is routes. Actually routes means the path the packet goes belong. So if N want to find another subnet M and the packet should go from this path, then we can say that this path is a route. So it is the path information used to guide the packet forwarding. And the key device actually is the routing device. They can forward the packet to the destination. And the most common routing device actually is the router. And each router will maintain a routing table. According to this routing table, the router can decide to which link they should forward the packet to. And when they check in the routing table, actually they need to check the destination of the packet. So we call it the destination-based forwarding. Okay, now let's look at what the routing table looks like. Actually, this is the routing table of this router. You can see that first we have this destination and mask. Actually, this domain identifies IP address range for the destination. And if the destination falls in this range, actually the router will forward the packet through this outbound interface to this interface. And the next hub will be this interface, okay? So 1112. Through this outgoing interface and through this next hub router, the packet destination to here will be forwarded. So this is the routing table. The routing table of this router looks like this. Actually, you can see that they identifies next hub and outbound interface of every destination subnet. So for this subnet, they go through this interface. For this subnet, they go through this interface. And similarly, for this one, go through this one. And also, we have these three subnet, okay? They can also know that for this subnet, they go through this interface, right? So as, as here. And also, they have a loop back interface. And a router can select the optimal route and install it in the IP routing table. And they can manage the path information by managing their IP routing table. 